friends, welcome to my channel, Shipping Joy. My name is Kim and I'm here to do a humongous thread up denim box. It's uh, 30 pounds. I've only uh, ever gotten the 15 pound denim box, which ends up being about uh, 30 bucks. This one was 48 bucks plus shipping. I didn't get free shipping code, so I paid pretty sure $53. I've already opened the box, so I don't have to try to lift it and open it. My son actually brought it over to me because it's really heavy for me. 30 pounds, uh, I guess I'm not ready for the 30 pounds yet. But anyway, I'm excited, so let's get into the video and let's take a look. So uh, as I mentioned, I've already opened it. And at the top, they always have the dotted paper and the receipt and it's called a uh, rescue box DIY denim 30 pounds uh, $48 I paid this box I noticed from the top said it came from Illinois a lot of mine have been coming from I think Atlanta um, can't remember for sure but this one came from Illinois so let's see what we got um, uh, box is always nicely folded which is great so the first item I see is a brand called Olivia. Um, it's backwards for you, but it says Olivia. Let's see, oh, this is, the that was the style. I've heard of this brand. I think I've seen this at TJ Maxx, Delia's. And this is a size five, so a junior brand of jeans. Let's take a look for you and see what we're looking at. It looks like there's not any uh, stains or problems to the naked eye. I will check everything, zippers included, and uh, get these either stain, uh, steamed, <laughs> kill the germs even though I'm touching them, or wash them up. But first pair is a low-end brand, junior brand, but that's what we got. Next up, I've uh, Aeropostale. This is again another mall brand, junior size, I would imagine more so than a woman's size. This is size... It's called the Jagging size six long. So at least we got a six long. Longs do pretty well. Um, they're more rare to find for me. So Aeropostale, although being a low brand, at least it's uh, six long and not, I mean, we got a little pulling here, I see. But again, I'll look over everything in detail. So unless I see something really, really stained up or badly damaged, which can be in these boxes, it's called a DIY because it kind of releases any uh, <laughs> anything from them. If you do find something with a stain or anything, they're kind of released from any liability, I should say. Next one up, we have LA Blues. So, so far we're hitting the, all the low end brands. This one is, I've never heard of, called the Melrose 3M Petite. I've never seen an M, so that's new for me. So again, these look like a, the other two, I'm sorry, were skinny jeans or jeggings. This looks like more of a straight leg or a boot cut. So LA Blues, Petite. Petite doesn't do very well in my closet. Whenever I sell a Petite, which is really rare, I'm always like, wow. So unless it's a high-end brand, Petite, even when it's a high-end brand, guys, uh, the Petites don't sell well for me. Um, anyway, next up we have a kid's pair of jeans. Look, it's got new little embroidery. As cute as these are, again, I hate to say it, but kids' clothes don't sell for me. I don't think I've sold anything but one pair of old navy shorts that I've said in another video of kids' clothes. These are Health Techs 2T. <laughs> They're just cute, though. Look at that. And this even got the little detail on the back. So the best idea I would recommend for kids' clothes, unless you just do well, is if you have similar sizes to bundle them together. So uh, maybe someone will buy them there. I see another little kids' item in the box. Let's see, this one's called, oh, this is Old Navy 2T. So here we go. Two things we can put together already. These are cute little shorts. God, aren't the kids' clothes just the cutest though. I, I don't see any damage on any of these clothes so far, so that's good, but let's keep going because there's so many, well, hopefully there's a lot in here and I'll count at the end to see if we get uh, our money's worth. Okay, we got some free people, size 28. Okay, good size. Oh, and a good pair. We got some slightly distressed uh, laced hem. Okay, this is a good pair. Do see a little stainage on the back, so mmm yellowing or something so i'm not sure but i will try to get any stains out 
So some distress free people, size 28 shorts. So this could be a potentially good one. All right, so first pair that is kind of like, I know the brand and free people does okay, depending upon the style. All right, next one up, we have buckle black, black buckle. Well, buckle black size 24, 32 long, skinny jeans. So that, I, I don't know if this is from the Buckle brand, which does pretty well uh, for me, I'm hoping. Skinny jeans, don't see any flaws. A little distressing on the back, which is great. Whenever there's even a little bit of distressing, thankfully people like the distressing, even if it's a little bit. So that could help. So I like those, not bad there. Let's see here what we have next. Uh-oh, looks like a no brand on the oh these are lee jeans now this is all right let's see yeah it looks like they took the tag out but i've just read the another tip reading the button detail to see if they have uh, the brand name if someone takes out the tag but it does also say lee big in the back and this is a size let's see if they're size 36 waist 34 long so these are probably a men's jean uh, again, looks like good condition. Guess you could wear these as a mom jean, um, if not for a man wanting some Lee jeans. Have a slight, uh, very subtle uh, hem wearing the hems, but that's a good pair. I know Lee isn't a big seller, but if somebody wants to transform those into some mom, wear those as mom jeans, that could work. All right, next up feels like a better quality brand. Okay, Joe's. Let me show you that. Joe's jeans. Um, looks like the older one and it has the flare leg, little wear on them, not a whole lot, but it's got, it's more of a low rise, which does not sell as well anymore. It's even got the some tag, uh, like a the wire barb still on it, probably from a thrift store. That's someone, this one's size 25, the Stardust style. So flare, see, flare legs seem like it was coming in again a little bit. If you want that bohemian 70s style. So we'll see how those do. A little wear on the hem, but not enough to, to be worrisome. It uh, does look like now that I'm looking at it, it looks like they've been hemmed. Yeah, they definitely have been hemmed. So... Of course, you always have to note that, and that does lower the reduce the amount that you're going to get for it right away when they've been hemmed. Next up, oh, look, guys, we've got some made well. Let's look and see if they're dragged up or not. Okay, so far, size 28, the skinny, skinny. I've sold this style. I think I actually still have one in my closet. Oh, these are the moto style. Even better, guys. Oh, so this was worth, worth the box. It does have some pulling. Um, it is a stretchier Madewell fabric, so that's probably what happened. But Madewell, I could probably get for those, maybe 30 bucks. Who knows? So we're already doing well on the box between those and the free people. At least I can say so far, I think I got my money back for the box. But let's see if we can exceed that. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Gloria Vanderbilt, uh, the Avery straight leg size 10. I wish it was at least a... <laughs> Uh, plus size that could help now you see this like on every other uh, pant jean at like Ross is and at the thrift store ooh, at the bins you could get Gloria Vanderbilt all day long but this is uh, at least a pull-up style so that helps the pull-up style um, helps and it looks like with the straight leg it almost looks like a skinny leg again I don't see any flaws so far so good though with the flaws guys thank you thread up not a lot of high-end brands so far, but I'm impressed. I mean, I'm okay with it. Even if the rest of this, <laughs> every time I start saying this is a good box, then you get this shit. Oh, did I? <laughs> Sorry. I have to try to bleep that out. I don't even know if that's legal. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I've seen people get these in thread up videos, but I never thought I'd be the one. But here we are. We got some cut jean legs. Maybe you can make them like you could. <laughs> so these will be trash. I'm not good enough to make. Well, I wouldn't say good enough. I'm not willing to invest the time in making a mask with these denim jeans. 
So maybe I don't throw them away. I give them back like to the donation or something. Maybe somebody else wants to make it. So I got some denim cut off legs. There we go. Son, I got some denim cut off legs for the first. Oh no, I got two, two pairs. So that's like a waste right there of poundage. Denim legs. Who sends those in? That's what I want to know. Can they put the name on the screen so I could do a shout out of, why don't you send in some denim legs? I don't know, maybe there's a story behind that. So I got two pairs that are basically not pairs because they're denim legs. So that was a waste. I guess for somebody they might want them, but mm -mm, not me. So next we got Levi's legging. I'm trying to figure out, okay, thank goodness. It's a Lisa, an adult size because I've gotten a lot of or received or however you want to say it, Levi's that are uh, kids. And those just sit in my closet and my eBay store. Nobody wants them, even for $1.99. These are a size waist 28, length 30. So these look like they're in good condition. Nice pair, usually has the number on the back, but I don't see a number, it just says legging. I'll look into that further. Let's move on, shall we? Next up, we have some Gap 1969 real straight size 26 or two regular black jeans of course the camera or the light washes them out a little bit so they're a little bit blacker well they're not a deep black but they're a little deeper than what you see on the screen they look like they're in good condition it's a basic uh straight leg jean see if they have a style of sort looks like fall 2011 so <laughs> about nine years old but for nine years old these look really good someone probably had them sitting in the closet for a while and finally decided to get rid of them all right next up we have okay we got some american eagle guys american eagle super super stretch and i get scared to speak before until i raise them up to see what's going on this is yeah this is a super skinny leg let's see what size this is it's the jegging size six long okay i love to get six uh well not six necessarily but long jeans because i always sell my long jeans fairly quicker than anything else even if it's not a great brand and this is a decent brand american eagle and those are in great condition so we got a couple scores so far all right okay another kids one <laughs> abercrombie it's a button front mini skirt uh size 11 12. looks like it's in good condition at least it's good for the, the summer, spring, summer. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody will want that for their child. It's cute. Um, we'll see. All right, another kids. We're really overloaded on the kids this time. Size zero, Refuge. Another brand that I've heard of, but you should leave in the store. But at least they're shorts. They look like they're in decent, good condition. Cuff leg. Just a really small size. It looks kind of like a kid size um but it's not all right i wouldn't mind being a zero <laughs> anyway next one up art class super skinny size 14. oh these are cute guys look let me show you the they hope but these are probably kids um because they're size 14 and they're definitely not a size 14 adults but look at that embroidery hopefully that helps it and it's got the raw hem hopefully this could help sell it so there we go. I can't remember where I, I, I think I have an art class up in my closet from another thread up box, which of course has sold. I can't remember where uh, they sell art class. Um, next up, I've heard of this brand again, low end, Vanilla Star Mid-Rise Skinny. Let's see what size we're working with today. Size zero, which is infamous in the thread up boxes, but at least it has lots of distressing on the front. Don't see any on the back, but the front very skinny leg great condition so not a great brand but at least it helps to see the distressing it really does help guys we're i think a little over halfway done so let's see next we got gap boy cut um let's see here what size we're 12 long all right guys 12 long we got a 12 anybody for a 12 looks like the older like straight leg I don't, well, it's a boyfriend cut, 
Looks like they're in good condition. Zip fly. Uh, oh no, button fly. I was just gonna say, I love when I get a button fly from Gap. And it is, it's in fact a button fly, which also helps the sale. People love their button fly, whether it's men or women. A little wear on the butt area, but other than that, I don't see anything particularly bad at this point. So I like that. Thumbs up for a 12 long gap. Oh no, guys. And the pants, that's so funny because I saw this part and I was like, oh, these look cool. So I got three cutoffs, three pairs of pants that could have potentially been a good pair, but they're just legs. Womp, womp. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's not think about that too long, that that just added to the pounds of uh, stuff in here that you don't get any money back on. These are the American Eagle Sky High Jagging Size 2. I like that small size, but American Eagle. And these look like they're kind of like almost, not acid wash, but kind of like, I guess, yeah, kind of like an acid wash which I love skinny jeans. So these should do well. Looks like a, a high rise too, a nice high rise. Smaller size, but there's all sizes. Uh, please don't have any more legs in here. I don't want any more legs. Um, kind of creeps me out. Next up we have, oh, you know, that's so funny. This brand just sold, I sold a pair of these this morning on eBay, or was it last night? I can't remember. I hadn't heard of this brand. I had received the this brand, Ameth Amethyst like the purple uh, gemstone, size nine. Um, I received a pair of these in my last box, but they look kind of like a torrent jean because they have the three button detail. If you look, it's in my videos. And they sold uh, like kind of in two or three days. So um, this brand, when I looked it up, doesn't do exceptionally well, but it probably was just the style. But anyway, so I don't think this one will do as well. It has slight distressing on the front, a very subtle distressing. Size nine, so that, okay, so first stain I'm seeing here, guys. So we got not a humongous stain, may be able to get it out, may not, but um, kind of worn. Looks like it's kind of maybe a skinny leg. So size nine, it does have some cute pocket detail inside a, flor a floral pattern. Uh, that was nice for them to take this, the effort for that, but it does look like an older style. So there we go, amethyst. Next up, we have one by, what does it say? Oh, one teaspoon. Okay. Um, I know this does well. I've never, ever actually had a one teaspoon item. I've never found one um, thrifting. But this is a skirt, uh, like a mid-length skirt. It says 2020 high waist, long rise, super fitted, mid-length. So this this one's good. So Sydney, New York, Tokyo. Let's see what size. Denim. Um, doo, doo, doo. almost makes up for the legs, I think. Well, I'll have to look it up. It is a skirt. Skirts don't typically do as well. I, I'm not seeing the size on that side. Oh, size 30. Okay. And it's a button fly. <laughs> so I like this one. This is real. Can you say distress? Say date night? You better wear something underneath. Uh, all your goodies are showing. <laughs> those some people like their goodies showing i don't know if anybody would want to see my goodies but anyway next one is i'm gonna look at the button faded glory wah, wah. we go from one teaspoon to faded glory we are very 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 all over the place this is the classic stretch flare 14 tallies we got we're working with the tall guys we're working with the tall so again faded glory but uh <laughs> Very tall, looks like uh, kind of almost like a just a wide leg. I don't see anything that pops out to me that's a stain or anything. But again, faded glory. I think the running uh, comp for a faded glory, if you're lucky on a good day, is probably eight to ten dollars. Um, so maybe you're getting five dollars out of it. Anyway, next up, it looks like we have another kids' jean, old navy loose, has those infamous <laughs> elastic waist size 12 slim jeans oh we got a problem it's got a hole in the butt so it's it's not supposed to be that way so these will probably be redonated so it was like a wide leg no big fail because 
those probably wouldn't have sold without a hole. But anyway, let's keep moving. Oh God, you guys, this is the fourth pair of legs. Fourth pair. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We got a petite signature fit trouser. Eight petite. What is this brand? Mm. It's got cute buttons. I know it's not high end though. It's definitely low end. Uh, N62, W62. I don't know. I haven't heard of this brand before. And I, it has pretty uh, floral detail on the buttons with the two button detail. But it is a petite, so that's where we fail. <laughs> I'm a petite, but people aren't buying to peep, to peep. Uh, petite, petite. These are like a wide leg trouser, as it says. So they're cute, dark wash. But I don't know, I'll look at the brand, but definitely the denim looks like a low end denim. So, so far, was it four legs we got? So you could just count those out. Um, next, we got an old free people. Uh, I think this is the old label size 29. Uh, zip, uh, zipper, free people. Size 29. Uh, it does look like an older brand tag. It does have some wear on the hems, um, but not too horrific. But just looks like a pair of straight leg jeans. Zip up. Nothing out of the ordinary, which is sad because uh, it takes me a long time to sell my free people jeans unless they're way out of the ordinary. And even when they're way out of the ordinary, they go for like 20, 30 bucks. Anyway, next up. I think we're down to the last two guys. Levi's boot cut, 515, six medium. What's the medium? I'm not sure if that's men or women's. Oh, well, six would be women's, but I don't know where the medium, I guess that means regular, I'm not sure. But anyway, boot cut, Levi's. And they look like they're in good condition. I like them when there's a super, they do have a nice rise, so almost it looks like a high rise from the naked eye not super high rise so that always helps things to move along a little faster as well um and last pair of jeans another low end riders indigo lee uh, riders by lee let's see the size is eight medium i'm seeing a lot of eight like medium never okay so this is a pull-up style it it's faux uh buttons they don't work but let's take a look. So just like a skinny leg, oh, they're in good condition, but riders, I think, I don't know, you get that from Kmart or Walmart, I'm not sure. I've seen it, but I've never picked it up. So let's go ahead and count guys. Ooh, it's falling over <laughs> with these legs really quick and see what we got. We did get a couple uh, brands that I'll do well um, in terms of, excuse me, oh, like my hand, use my hand for that. Um, we got some good brands. I got some good brands in this box. I'm saying like you got some good brands, um, some decent brands, but nothing, you know, like, Ooh, well, the one teaspoon was pretty good because I've never received that. But other than that, most of the brands were low end or smaller sizes or petite or kids and those beautiful four legs. Wow. Can we forget that? Let's not forget that. But anyway, I'll talk about more after we count. One, two, three, four, the legs, five, six. Do we count the legs as a jean? You can't wear them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> more legs, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, more legs, 20, more legs, 21, okay, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, gotta move up guys, sorry they fell over, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 
So, okay guys, let's talk about it. So 32 pairs, but really 28 pairs because four are just legs. Um, for someone else, maybe it would be interesting and exciting to get because they could do some crafting with it. For me, it's just a waste of a, a material and a box, but it, it happens. And this was the first time it happened to me and I know it happens to other people. So I got some decent brands. Will I make my money back? Yes, will I double it? Probably. Um, will I get a lot more than that? No, um, but it was fun. And now hopefully with all the Goodwills opening up across the land, I'm in California, so mine uh, are open in certain parts of the uh, counties, the other counties. I'm in LA County and I have gone to one, but none of my outlets have opened up near me yet. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I do love uh, doing the unboxing so much. I do have another 30 pound did unbox that I'll probably open up tomorrow. Um, so this was good. This was, I had fun doing it. I recommend it if you're low on inventory, um, if you're not in one of the counties that has opened up. But other than that, if you have an outlet or somewhere you can go, skip it, skip it. Um, but this was fun. And on this box, grading it, let's see, from an A to an F, I give it like a C plus because there weren't a lot of flaws. So I think there were only like a couple that had uh, hems that were really bad off. Oh, I'm at 26 minutes. Let me wrap this up before you guys start falling asleep. Uh, a couple hems that were um, worn and uh, one had a stain and then the leg. So there were some issues <laughs> to be expected. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Kim. My channel name, again, is Shipping Joy, as you see. Please think and consider about uh, liking and subscribing and sharing some, some uh, comments down below if you opened a box and how your boxes were. And let's share it together. I hope you guys are staying safe and everything's opening up for you guys. Just stay safe out there. Have a great day. Bye, guys.